Greetings and welcome back everyone to the Age of Sail Tournament with your host Chromoid. This is episode number 1, 2, 3, 4, I think this is 5? Yes, 5. Uh, and we are today we're going to be watching the Golden Darkness Fleet by the Light LOD over there in the yellow and gray going up against the Verdict Class by the Immortal. The 4 is an A, I'm guessing. Yeah, the Immortal. Uh, so this is a fleet entry versus a single ship entry, and we'll just go ahead and get, well, I'm not going to get this underway. Let me get a get a quick overview of these ships, try not to spend so much time as I did last time. This is a very kind of a bare bones looking ship on the surface. It's very sleek, um, no nonsense, very lightly, once again, lightly armored masts. I mean, I don't know, me, I would, I would put some more blocks on these masts, uh, given, especially given that you have access to explosive um, cannons. And they do horrible, horrible things to lightly armored targets, like guns, and sail blocks, and ammo barrels. Uh, anyway, this is the Verdict class, and this is a very, very uh, beefy looking ship, at least on the outside. Uh, not very fancy on the top, but it's, it's kind of got a sleek, uh, streamlined look to it. I like this little guardhouse in the front, that's very, very cool. Um, a lot of guns underwater. I'm not really sure. Maybe it's just because I spawned it low. It'll pop up. I'm guessing it'll pop up because you need those guns to be above water for them to be really effective. Anyway, over here we have one of the three members of the Golden Darkness fleet. And I'm going to look at them real quick. They're all the same thing. Mirai Kinden. So it's just a triplicate of the same thing. Look at this. Look at. I love these little uh, captain's quarters back in here. Uh, you know, I, I know y'all are here to watch fights, but Let's be real here, guys. These people put some time into these. Uh, I asked for sailing ships. They did not have to give me sailing ships. They could give me anything that had sails and stay within the rules. But some people put some effort into these. And, you know, whether or not they win or lose, I just want to look at these things and admire them. Because I can't build stuff like this. I mean, I probably could, but it would take too much time. More time than I'm willing to devote to such things. Aesthetics? It was time for aesthetics. Anyway, so look at this. I, I wish I would get out and walk this, but then they'd run away and f shoot each other because they're on enemy teams. I love these skylights here. That, that is just so cool. A very, very, very neat ship. Uh, light LOD. And it's going to go up. Oh, I've lost my track. There we go. It's going to go up against that monster over there. So let's see who not only has the looks, but the killer moves to stay in this tournament. Sailors ready. Clock set up, and go. And you'll notice that the um, verdict class is starting kind of close to this front ship, because I spawned it first. I try to spawn single entries first. Uh, so when I spawn the fleet entry, the spawn stick is at 500 meters, which is what they start at. Um, that's just the way it is. Otherwise, they can end up out of range accidentally if they're placed if like there's some behind the spawn stick, and I just don't want to risk that. So that's why. If you're wondering, and yes, it does pop up. In fact, it pops up a lot. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of ship above the water. And here, we, oh wow, look at it! Look at it heel over. It's trying very hard to get those guns around. It's, it's not, it's not dabbling about. This ship is gonna make sure it gets those guns on target right away. No sails. That's interesting. It hasn't gotten any sails up. I'm not sure what's going on. Yeah, it's all in combat. I hope you got some sailing AI in this thing. It's got a couple of sails right there, but they're not going up. Oh my goodness, look at those shots. Coming off the Golden Darkness Fleet, but they miss for the most part because of the way this thing is healing over. And there's a huge amount of blocks exposed at the bottom here to catch all those shells and kind of direct them away. Uh, so hopefully the AI will shoot at this and not the, uh, not the vulnerable top side of masts. It looks like the AI is not going to shoot at that. It is going to shoot at those vulnerable bits. The Light LOD's fleet is coming around very quickly. It's look at these things are very agile. Look at them dance. Probably some of the fastest ships we've seen in this whole uh, series. Of course, you know I can't really judge speed because my computer's already running at the speed of a snail. So you know what you're gonna do. There's a hole in that mass, but it's finally gotten its sails up and it's starting to get underway. Tried to get itself turned around to shoot at an enemy and then decided it, it had better sail towards them instead. Okay, so that, that guardhouse is firing now, so maybe 
Maybe. Yeah, there they go. Those guns are coming online. Had it sails forward. Ooh. This one's sails have gone in. Looks like an AI decision, though. Oh, look at that. They have a, um, like a little lifeboat and a, uh, a crane for loading ammo. That's very, very cool. Very pretty. They're not doing much right now, though. They got some good shots off early, and now they're kind of... I think they're trying to realign themselves for another run. That one certainly is. That one's going to get a good broadside off in a second here. Come on, figure it out. Nope. No one wants to take a shot? How about you, Arctic Class? Do you want to take a shot? You look like you want to. But I really can't tell. Oh, yep, it's got a few out of the guardhouse. That guardhouse is the only thing that seems to be doing work right now. Everything else is just kind of sitting there waiting for the ship to decide to turn around. On how it's got to turn the other way. No sails again. I spawned them both in a crosswind, uh, like I always do. Ah, uh, there we go. This, this golden darkness. Or Mariah Kinden has gotten a, a volley off. A lot of those are kinetic, it seems. They bounce right off that outer armor. That's odd. It looks like it's just wood. Maybe it has a bunch of stone underneath or something, giving it more structural integrity and armor. Very, very pretty ships, but right now they're doing absolutely nothing. In fact, I need to check that one on the far end there and see if it's gone outside of a range that allowed for it. No, it's okay. It's getting a little far out there, though. They need to turn around and come back in to deal with this threat. This guy, I don't know what's going on. He just doesn't want to seem to... Oh, there's some sails. There's some sails. It's turning around. Okay, maybe it'll finally get a broadside off here. There we go. Nope, it's decided it's not going to do that. If you thought the regular AI in this game was derpy, the sailing AI is even more so. It, it, it cannot, for the life of it, figure out what it's going to do with itself. Let's hope these guns shoot at that, because otherwise it's got nothing to shoot at right now. Oh, here comes another volley from that golden darkness. Looks like that one in the back is starting to turn around to try to get itself on course to hit this uh, verdict go down here and check the range one more time just to be fair. He's getting out there, but he's not too far. No farther than that one is really. Oh my goodness. That was a good volley. Unfortunately, seems to have gone wide for the most part. Completely missed the golden darkness. Now this this verdict has finally gotten itself on a bearing that can ha allow it to hit a target with most of its guns, and it is still mostly intact. This golden darkness has not done hardly anything to it. More kinetic rounds coming in. And there we go, there's the verdict class firing off its broadside. It's a lot of guns. Look at that. Interestingly enough, it seems that these are actually both kinetic firing ships. They don't use explosives. So, they both have good armor penetration values, but they will not strip a ton of blocks off early on like uh, some of these other ships will. Ah, there it goes. The verdict has finally gotten itself at full sail. Well, mostly full sail. That one there has suffered some damage. This one's doing okay. Oh, this one, this uh, Golden Darkness has finally gotten itself on, tra on, ugh, on target here. Sorry, my English is garbage. Today, anyway. Sometimes it's better. I don't understand. The, the Golden Darkness seems to do very well in just about any position with the sails, but this verdict seems to be very, very persnickety about where it wants to put them or where it wants to put them down, or where it wants to take them back up. Some more kinetic rounds going off there from the Golden Darkness. Oh, there was some explosives. Okay, there's some explosives in there. 
some of them aren't. Some of them are kinetic, some of them are explosive. I wonder if the top if the top or the bottom is the kinetic one and the other the other half is the explosive, but now it's got two of them on one broadside and it can just rake them both as it goes by. This one's got its back exposed. So it can suffer it'll suffer raking fire if that uh if it doesn't if it doesn't turn around soon. And there's nothing it can do about that. Let's check this one over here real quick. Okay, they're still well within the bounds of the tournament. 600 meters is the out-of-bounds limit. Hate to see anyone go over it, but you know. Got to set a limit so people don't, uh, so people know how to, how to build their ships. Yeah, this is what the verdict class needs. Have all of its guns on one side bearing on multiple enemies that it can target like this. It's not done a lot of damage, surprisingly. It's at 90% and they're at 199.99. The guns don't seem to be doing much. Here comes another blast from that distant golden darkness. Mirai Kinden, that's what they're called. Geez, a lot of Japanese names. Oh, look at that broadside go off. Smashing into the captain's quarters. The captain's going to need a new bed. And again, most of them just bouncing off, not doing much. It's surprising. I thought, I knew there were some explosives on there. Explosives do wonders against wood armor, which is what the Mariah Kinden seemed to have. Granted, they're not doing much to this uh, verdict either, although they're doing more to it than it's doing to them. There's more, there's more taken off just now. Looks to be another battle of attrition. We're about halfway through the timer. But so far, the Golden Darkness fleet seems to have just a bit of an upper hand here. Let's see if the verdict class can even that, that score up a bit. Oh, there are some blocks going. Still only 99%. Oh, 98%. There we go. This one seems to be stuck. Can't get its can't get its AI to figure out where it's gonna go. And there's another blast of shells coming in for the verdict. These two are just wailing on each other. That one just seems to have given up on trial. Well, it's fighting back, but it's it's fighting a re it, it's making a fighting retreat. It's not actually engaging the verdict up close like it really should with these guns. They're they're not very accurate, so you want to get up close. Uh, just like they did in the old days, and a you know, wreck face with them. That's how you do most of your damage. And you see, it's a very shotgun effect when it's fired at long range. So you, you want to get close to all of those shells, and, or, and most of them can hit the target and just kind of blow its hole away for you. Get another distance report here. See what's going on. Five hundred and eighty-one. Not sure which that one that is. Is this a la la over here? Nope, it's the other one. That one's actually closer. It's that far one over there. Ooh, no. Oh. It looks like one of those Mirai's managed to get into the front here and hit an ammo storage right in the bow. That's going to be a huge chunk of points off the verdict class. There it is, 95%. It did not need to lose that kind of that kind of HP. A good shot from the Mirai, or the Golden Darkness. I'm calling them Mirai's because that's what they are. The fleet's called Golden Darkness. Those are, each ship is called a Mirai Shinden. close one, I think, is Nana. Nope, it's uh, Momo. Momo's the close one. Nana's the one that's coming around and raking the uh, verdict from the back now. Just circling 
circling around this verdict, which seems to be unable to get its guns to bear on its targets. Can't seem to turn in time, can't seem to keep its sails moving in time, and they're just circling it now, hammering it from all sides as it heals over again, trying desperately to get its guns to bear on its targets, and exposing more of that juicy, juicy bottom hole, which is no doubt how they got that lucky shot down to the bottom that penetrated through to the, uh, the ammo barrels within. The ammunition is generally stored in the lower part of the hole, so if your uh, lower part of your hole is indeed being exposed, it makes the job much easier for the enemy. Let's get over here and get another distance report. Yeah, okay, they're just inside. This one's trying to catch up, I think. Here we go, they're in hot pursuit now. Verdict is chasing that uh, Mariah over there and its sisters are chasing the verdict. And that one seems to be the only one really in a position to fire anything right now. And there it goes. Fire another two shots, four shots. Will they hit? Yes, they will, but I don't think they'll do much. Ah, uh, here it's coming to bear. And it's blossoming again with fire. shots from both sides. It's now caught in a crossfire. The verdict is, is struggling to keep itself on target. It might be able to get a shot off at these two if it manages to turn itself around. I think it's what it's trying to do. It's realized it can't can't aim at that uh, Mariah over there, so it's trying to deal with the rest of the fleet. Or I thought it was. It seems content just to sail along at this angle. These guns don't turn very far, unlike just all the other guns in FTD. Uh, they... they you see the arc, that's about all they've got. So you need these gun these ships to go pretty much uh, zero degree angles to each other, passing each other in a straight line to hit each other. And uh, the Golden Darkness fleet seems to get that. I don't think the Verdict class does. Or it's being confused by the sheer number of ships it's going up against. It just can't decide which one's going to hit. It's times like these where a, uh, a prioritization card would probably help a lot. say pick the closest one and go for it because as it stands right now the verdict is stuck unable to decide which which target is going to pick and it needs to pick a target and wear it down really quickly because they're I mean you've got one at 93 one at 99 but each of these is a third of the total health so I mean that's what over 10 percent over 90 percent of a third so it's practically practically full health total for the fleet. Whereas this thing is coming down to about nine, nine tenths of its health, which is not good. There's another shot. Don't know who fired that. Probably that Mirai Shinden over there. It's got its guns in a broadside to the verdict. Again, the verdict, it's just its just unable to decide what it's going to do. I may have to do some number crunching in a bit here because uh, right now neither of these ships are able to really hit each other. That one's coming about. This one's come about and is now starting to fire on the verdict once more. That one might be out of range. I'm gonna check real quick. Just on the inner limits of where you're allowed to be. It's playing a very dangerous game there. There goes another cannon on the verdict. More fire from this side. Back into the verdict. It's getting hammered. A lot of these shells seem to be just ricocheting off, but they're still doing damage, and that's more than the verdict is doing right now. Okay, there go some guns from the verdict class. Don't think they're going to go far enough to actually hit that Mirai. Eh, one, one kind of almost did. Another small burst. It's just knocking off the big burst of shells that needs to be getting off in order to hit these things. And that's because it cannot seem to get itself 
lined up properly. If it was to turn itself just a little more to the left right now, it could probably get a good shot off at that that distant golden darkness ship. But uh, right now, it's it's just it's got a, a handful of guns I can aim at it. And that's it. Still, I think fixated on trying to get near that one. And they've got it hemmed in now. They're at the the maximum range, just inside the maximum range, and constant at three different angles, and constantly peppering it with fire. This one's leading in a merry chase, and every once in a while it'll turn around and pop a volley off, and then turn back and keep it chasing. And the Verdict's lost so many of its mast and sails now that it has almost no speed. So the the mobility advantage is all on the Golden Darkness fleet side. There's another percent gone off the Verdict class. I think this is going to go to the Golden Darkness fleet, folks. We have 2 minutes and 15 seconds remaining, and it has not hardly done anything for almost half of this fight now, except try to chase ships that are now twice its speed. It's put some holes in the sails over there, don't get me wrong, but that, that's all it's done, stripped a few sails out and that's it. It, can't, it cannot seem to hit the hole, which is what you need to do. You need to take out those guns, you need to take out the ammo, you need to do something. And those, those honestly, those Marais are not very thick. So it could conceivably, you know, punish them if it got close, but it, it, it let them get away. And it couldn't close with them, and now they're where they want to be. They're at, at range, caught in a crossfire. And because the scattershot nature of these weapons and the, the, the uh, Verdict's own low man, uh, maneuverability, it's, uh, it's pretty much completely nullified any... any uh, firepower it has. And look at this, you've got them in a three-point triangle. All, tri all triangles are three points, what I'm talking about. They're in a triangle around it. Firing as they as they go, they'll close a little bit to keep the range. And they fight, turn and fire a shot, and they close the range again. It's not very effective, as you see. Like, they're still firing at range, so they're missing, but they're still hitting it. And it's not hitting them. Now against other ships in this tournament, I'm not sure how viable this tactic would be, but right now it's working wonders for the uh, Golden Darkness fleet. Timer's just about run up, guys. I am going to unofficially call this a win for the Golden Darkness fleet. They have managed to outmaneuver and outperform this verdict class. Strange that that may seem given how small they are, but that is it. It's uh, five seconds left on the clock. Three, two, one, and that is it. Hold the guns. Check the health. Here we are. 91% on the verdict versus almost full health on all the others on all the Golden Darkness fleet members. So this fight goes to the Golden Darkness fleet by the Light LOD. Congratulations, man. You have moved on to the next back in the tournament. And uh, the Immortal, my apologies, man. My condolences. Your uh, your beautiful verdict will uh, has given its last judgment. It's, it's done. Yeah, that was a terrible pun. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, thank you for participating, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.